Hello, my name is Chris Plackey, and in this course, we're going to apply everything we've learned so far in the Coaching Skills for Managers specialization by reviewing and analyzing coaching conversations encountered in real work settings. In this course, the principles and models we've previously covered will be exemplified using pairs of scenarios. One not so good example, and of course, a good model example of how such a conversation should be handled. For each pair of scenarios, I will provide analysis designed to help you reflect on what you've learned elsewhere in the specialization in order to enact effective coaching in similar real life situations. And just so you know, you'll probably recognize the person conducting the coaching conversations in the good examples. In module one, we will address missing deadlines and dealing with change. In module two, we'll cover a former high performer experiencing a skill set gap and an employee who is consistently showing up late to work. And in module three, we will go over an employee who is dealing with difficult colleagues and how a conversation should go when coaching a manager who supervises other employees. And finally, in module four, we'll cover how to notice thoughts, the importance of affirming employee strengths, and why it's important to confirm an employee's willingness to participate in a coaching conversation. If you joined us in the previous courses in this specialization, you will recall that we have covered the theory and principles used to design and develop an effective coaching practice within your organization. We have discussed employee performance continuum, developing a coaching agenda, applying tactical or developmental accountability, the thought model, developmental conversations, mindset and skill set coaching models, using coaching algebra, how to diagnose performance gaps, and the feedback loop. While viewing the upcoming scenarios, stay alert to see where the situation calls for application of these principles and practices we've covered so far in the theory. These items are what I will be referring to in my analysis of the scenarios. I'm so happy you decided to take this course. I hope you enjoy it and take away some great principles and practices you can turn around and apply in your own coaching practice. We have a lot to cover, so let's begin.